to be. Uh, Matt Stewart's on the road patrol this morning with a live look. Good morning. That's right. Yeah, going to be a little different driving experience for you if you decide to drive over that Row Avenue bridge. It's been closed since April, so I know a lot of Johnson Countyans are extremely excited to finally be able to drive this, but it's going to be a little bit like driving on England in England because you're going to be on the wrong side of the road. It's going to be very weird, and so we're going to drive you through it right now. We are here at this interchange, so as we take a right turn, take a look at here. So you're coming up to the Row Avenue Bridge, and normally you would just go straight across, but take a look at how the lanes veer off to the left, so it's kind of a zigzag. We're going to head to the left, and the reason for this is it's going to be a lot easier for folks to get on the interstate. What happened in the past was there would be long lines of folks trying to take a left turn. It created kind of an unsafe situation, so they figured to do this diverging diamond interchange. By getting us on the left side, we can turn straight onto the interstate. We don't have to wait at the light, and you'll see it here as I drive up. Now, this was a $9.6 million project. Like I say, they tore down the old bridge back in April. It was 44 years old, so it was a safety issue. They had to do something about it and decided that this might be the best way to remedy the traffic congestion situation in this area. So you see, I could take a left on the interstate. I'm gonna continue straight ahead, and I have a, an orange light. I'm gonna go through this orange light here, uh, so that way you can see exactly what it's like when we go back right on the right side of the road. So uh, a different kind of driving situation for you here in Johnson County right off of Rome. I'm going to pull off the side of the road so it's a little safer for me to talk to you here at the camera. But uh, keep in mind that this could be the way of the future. If this becomes a success, if it indeed relieves that congestion that people are so worried about, you could see more diverging diamond interchanges throughout Johnson County and Kansas in the near future. This is the second diverging diamond interchange in the state of Kansas. And again, it reopened late last night. Matt Stewart, Fox 4 News, we're going to be live in Oakland Park. All right, thanks, Matt.